Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm giving you a full brand review of Drunk Elephant Skincare. In this bag, I have every single product that they make. And at some point in my skincare routine, I've incorporated every single one of these products for a period of time. And I thought it might be of benefit for me to give you a comprehensive overview of the brand and the products, how they work for my skin type or don't work for my skin type. So by the end of this video, you are going to have reviews on every single one of these products. I'm gonna have timestamps down below if you're interested in a specific product. And throughout the video, I'm just going to go through category by category, cleansers, moisturizers, that kind of thing. So it has some kind of flow to it. And at the beginning, I am going to give you a brand overview because there are some things that are important to understanding about Drunk Elephant and why they formulate their products the way they do, why they are at the price point that they are, and things like that. So I, again, will have timestamps down below for you so that you can navigate through the video how you want to, or you can just watch it straight through. I am foundation free in this video because several of these products are the reason why my skin is looking better, brighter, smoother, firmer lately. It just seemed right for me to go sans foundation today. I do have on my other makeup products. I just skipped foundation so that you could just see my skin kind of breathing through the other makeup that I have on. So I have bought a lot of these products. Some of these were sent to me by Drunk Elephant. I do not like every product in this bag it doesn't matter whether i bought it or whether it was sent to me this video isn't sponsored they don't even know i'm making this video and i am always going to give you my honest perspective on any product i review no matter how i get the product just want to get that out there up front now with that said let's get into it first if you enjoy everyday beauty made easy things you can apply to your everyday life go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of the family and i do want to let you know too there is another video out there from jessica braun jam beauty 89 is her youtube name i'm going to link her channel and her video down below she doesn't know i'm making this video i probably should let her know somehow if you happen to be in one of her videos feel free to let her know so i did want to link her video because she may have a different perspective than what i have on a certain product or may like a feature of a product that doesn't work for me and vice versa. For a lot of people, the thing that stands out aside from the really cool packaging, which we'll talk about in a second, is the price point. They are not an inexpensive brand. So if you are looking for an inexpensive brand that you can really save your money on, this is not gonna be the brand for you. This is investing in your skincare, but there is a reason why Drunk Elephant has the price point that they do, and I'm gonna get into that. They believe that every ingredient should directly and only benefit the health of the skin or the safety of the formulation itself. It's important to note that the regulations that are out right now for cosmetics allow even clean beauty brands to have harmful disruptive ingredients in their products. So just because a product is clean doesn't mean it's necessarily good for your skin. So while Drunk Elephant aims for its products to be as natural as possible, it's far more important that their ingredients are effective and safe. So they consistently formulate their products with soothing low hazard ingredients regardless of their natural or synthetic status. They invest a lot in product development and that team obsessively self-regulates and reviews every single ingredient to make sure it's the safest, most efficacious, most synergistic with the entire product line while staying focused on both internal and external health. And they have a less is more approach. Their goal is to improve whatever it is you felt you needed to hide about your skin and allow your skin to function as it should again. And they kind of want you to reset your skin back to its healthy, best state. Their philosophy is clean, compatible skincare. So clean is basically everything we've talked above. They don't change things in their products to make them smell or look pretty. Drunk Elephant products are fragrance free and they just don't smell like anything other than what they are. Other skincare lines out there, whether they're expensive or inexpensive, use some natural ingredients or substitutes like essential oils, citrus extracts, and things like that to scent their products and make them smell a little bit better, more appealing, and then market them to people with sensitive skin. However, a lot of those ingredients can actually cause 
allergic reactions or sensitivities. When you smell Drunk Elephant products, you smell nothing but the glycerin base, marula oil, zinc, enzymes, antioxidants, whatever the actual ingredient is. That's the clean part of the clean compatible skincare philosophy. The compatible part is that they never ever compromise on safety. They blend the highest percentages of actives at ideal pH levels with non-sensitizing ingredients for clinically effective results. They also formulate using biocompatible ingredients. Those are non-irritating small molecule ingredients that the skin can easily absorb and understand and use. If you're familiar with Drunk Elephant at all, you've probably heard something about the Suspicious Six. There I am with the air quotes again. The, the Suspicious Six are ingredients that they believe are question mark ingredients, that they are kind of the root of what causes sensitivities and irritation in most people. Basically, they take a philosophy of if it's in doubt, it's out. They use no toxins or controversial synthetics, no ingredients seemingly linked to internal health disruption, and many clean brands actually do use some of those products. So if the consumer perception is negative about something, they just want to eliminate any doubt about it. So they just do not put it in their products at all. By eliminating the suspicious six, their products are supposed to be appropriate for all skin, even the most sensitive skin types. The list of the suspicious six products are essential oils, drying alcohols, silicones, chemical sunscreens, fragrances and dyes, and SLS. They believe those six ingredients are at the root of almost every skin issue they see. And when entirely removed from one's routine, basically taking a clean break from all of these ingredients, the skin can reset and return back to its healthy, balanced state. Drunk Elephant believes that it's equally, if not more important, what they leave out of the products is what they put into the products. Drunk Elephant products are made in the USA, cruelty-free, silicone free and they are supporters of the International Elephant Foundation and the bioavailable formulas mean that they are easily mixable and highly absorbable. I think most people really like the look of Drunk Elephant packaging. It does just have that look about it, right? I mean, it's just kind of cool. They always put these neat elements onto them. Um, I'll get to this when we get to this product. The caps have this really cool twist up mechanism. It makes the product airtight. The white packaging protects the product from light. Even the way they design their tubs is really cool with the pump that squeezes out the product. You're not digging your hands in there you're not contaminating anything and it's keeping everything airtight and protected from light until you actually need to get your product out again i just think it's such a great ingenious packaging system that they have so i wanted to definitely focus on that because i think it's something that is definitely noteworthy i know that was a lot of information up front but i think it's very important information that helps you understand why drunk elephant does the things that they do, why they are set at the price point they are, and just why people pay what they do for these products because they actually do work. You're not dealing with fillers, you're not dealing with the bad stuff, you are really getting products that are just full of good ingredients that are easily and quickly absorbed into the skin, and some of them in very unique ways, as you'll find out as we go through. Some of these products, I had been using them and didn't even realize how much they were benefiting me. I knew they were benefiting me, but I didn't know to what extent until I started reading through all this information. If you are someone who has been wanting to try Drunk Elephant and you just cannot pull that trigger because it's expensive, one thing that I do love is that they offer trial size sets or travel sets. I have one set called The Littles that has allowed me to travel with many sizes of their products and they're a great value for the money. You're not supposed to use every single product that Drunk Elephant makes. You're supposed to kind of figure out what works for you. You can incorporate them with other brands of products as well. So it's not about using every single one of these products that I have here in this bag all together in one routine. I mean, I would go broke if I did that, but it is about finding the few products that work best for you. We're gonna cover moisturizers first, but before I get into the moisturizer category, you need to know my skin type. I'm in my mid 40s. I have combination skin that gets oily throughout my T-zone and kind of right here a little bit. I have very sensitive skin. I have rosacea that flares up 
very, very easily, especially if I use the wrong skincare product. I also live in a very hot and humid climate. I live in New Orleans. It's one of the hottest, most humid places here in the United States. I think that age, skin type, climate, and all of that is important for you guys to know because, you know, I'm reviewing these products, so you need to know my skin type, right? The first moisturizer I'm going to talk about, I don't actually use on a daily basis, but I do know a ton of people love it, and I'll get into why I don't use this on a daily basis after I go through the information. That's how I'm gonna structure every product. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Lala Retro retails for $60 for 1.69 ounces. It is for tired, dry skin, and it has a skin-friendly pH level of 5.2. Lala Retro Cream is infused with omega acids, six rare African oils, and plant ceramide complex. It provides replenishing barrier support by reinforcing the skin's acid mantle and defends against the effects of everyday stressors. You hear people talking about hyaluronic acid a lot when they talk about skincare. It's a great hydrator for the skin because it, it occurs naturally in the body, but the hyaluronic acid in our body starts diminishing as we get older. So to replenish it, companies will put hyaluronic acid in their products. The scientific name for hyaluronic acid is sodium hyaluronate. So Drunk Elephant doesn't actually include sodium hyaluronate in their products. Hyaluronic acid, which you would think would be really odd because it's good for the skin when used properly. They include a sodium hyaluronate cross polymer, which has a smaller molecular weight than hyaluronic acid and can penetrate the skin more deeply. It delivers excellent hydration and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while promoting firmness. The good thing about hyaluronic acid is that it adds moisture without adding any greasiness or oiliness, and that's why people really like it. So this does have sodium hyaluronate cross polymer in it, and it will give that long lasting, really intense hydration. This has antioxidant rich fermented green tea, which helps combat the signs of aging. You just apply one pump of this to clean dry skin, and you can mix in any drunk elephant serum or oil to this cream as well. This has a very rich texture, but it doesn't really feel super, super heavy. Lala Retro is a great product for those of you who have normal or dry skin and really like some intense hydration. It's also great in the heart of the winter when it gets really cold and you just need that extra hydration or in the middle of the summer if you've been getting a lot of sun or have been in salt water and you, and you start getting dehydrated, this is a great product to use. So this is a little bit heavy for me even in the winter, just because of my particular skin type and climate. I don't use this on the daily, but this did rescue my skin the summer after we got back from the Caribbean and my skin was so dry and parched, it just wouldn't moisturize, it didn't feel like. And I used this at night and after a night or two, I was completely back to normal. This next moisturizer is one of my favorites, not only of Drunk Elephant, but of all time. You've heard me talk about this on my channel many times. If you follow my channel, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, become part of the family. This is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream, and this is to strengthen and moisturize your skin. For 1.69 fluid ounces, you will pay $68, and it is worth every single penny. I am on my third tub of this jar tub. This has an ideal pH level of 4.0. Proteini polypeptide cream combines an unprecedented array and concentration of signal peptides, growth factors, supportive amino acids, and pygmy water lily for visible and immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness. Lines, wrinkles, and signs of sun damage appear reduced and skin feels strengthened and moisturized. It is abundant with proteins and nutrients. It replenishes and restores your skin back to a strong, healthy state. You can apply this morning and night to clean dry skin. And I usually use this at night, but I have used it during the day as well. And I notice a huge difference in my skin since I started using this. I will mix in other moisturizers if I'm trying new things. And I feel like I can always tell the difference when I stray from it. So I stick with it. It's a very light, 
cream gel. You know how there's gel creams and cream gels? This is more of a cream gel. It's very light, but it's hydrating and it just soothes the skin. It feels really good on the skin. It wears well under makeup if you do wanna wear it during the day. It's really just smoothed my skin, evened the texture. I do feel like it just looks and feels better, more firm. I can't see ever stopping using this moisturizer because it has been so good to my skin. I feel like one of Drunk Elephant's first major products, probably the product that put them on the map, was their Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. That is the full name, their Marula Oil, basically. It is said to nourish and balance the skin. It is $40 for 30 mLs or one ounce of product. Drunk Elephant uses a proprietary raw cold press extraction and filtration process. They get this oil straight from the pip of the Marula fruit and how they process it results in the purest and most concentrated form of the oil, which makes it highly absorbable. It also means that the oil remains nutrient dense and stays fresher longer. They don't cut, bleach, deodorize, or add essential oils, which can act as irritants and disrupt the many benefits of this pure and refined oil. It contains greater concentrations of polyphenols than dark chocolate, green, or black teas, which means powerful antioxidant defense against pollution and damaging free radicals. It has high levels of vitamin E, other antioxidants. It's rich in omega-6 and 9. It helps moisturize, rejuvenate, and nourish the skin while restoring a youthful glow. You're supposed to see a noticeable reduction in the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, redness, and blotchiness with a marked improvement in skin's elastic feel. It is naturally antimicrobial and is appropriate for all skin types. So how they suggest to use it is to apply two to three drops to your face, neck, chest, hands, cuticles, just basically anywhere where you need to lock in that moisture and it's gonna give you balanced, glowing, healthy looking skin. So I will drop this straight onto the trough of my Proteiny Polypeptide and mix them together and apply them to my face at night. That is how I prefer to apply it. I don't know why, I don't know if it's being lazy or what, it just seems efficient to me to do it that way. That's just how I prefer to do it. But I've also been known to just top my moisturizer with it as well. I do really like this Marula oil a lot. I don't find all of them to be equal, though I have found some others that work well too. I feel like every skin type can benefit from using some kind of a facial oil because with dry skin, obviously it can help lock in that moisture. With oily skin, it actually helps balance the oil production in your skin. This is the oil that I kind of discovered that with. It helped my skin just not get as greasy looking throughout the day. I still get oily because that's my skin type, but I just am not a grease ball anymore and it's because I use this at night. I don't use it during the day. Dry skin may wanna use it both night and day, but I do really like it because I find it's not super greasy and it does absorb really well. If you have an oil that you really like that's giving you great benefits and is helping your skin out, keep using that one. It may be less than $40 for an ounce and you may be really loving that oil and that's great too. I feel like this next product is probably the most misunderstood product in the entire Drunk Elephant line and there's a reason for that. This is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This is supposed to quench and illuminate the skin. It is $52 for 1.69 ounces. It has a pH level of 5.7 and is ideal for all skin types. It's a lightweight, ultra hydrating serum that replenishes the complexion and improves the skin tone and texture. It is formulated with provitamin B5 and pineapple ceramide and delivers steady hydration throughout the day and is supposed to leave the skin looking healthy and more illuminated. It's blended with a lentil, apple, and watermelon complex that helps diminish dabness, dryness, and the appearance of fine lines. Your, your complexion will appear brighter and more youthful upon every application. They say to apply Behydra to face, neck, chest, and hands or any place on your body needing increased hydration mixed with any drunk elephant serum, cream, or oil to lock it in. This is kind of like a souped up hyaluronic acid. If you apply hyaluronic acid without any kind of moisture with it, no matter if you live in a dry environment or a humid environment, where's it gonna get the moisture from? 
your skin. And that's probably why a lot of people don't like this product when they first try it because they're not realizing that they may need more moisture than just this. I use this in conjunction with other forms of moisturizers or underneath my marula oil. And the reason why I say it's a souped up hyaluronic acid is because it does have that sodium hyaluronic cross polymer. It's got the extracts, the ceramides, and it's got the pro vitamin B5, which is gonna help keep your skin soft, improve the barrier function. It's gonna keep the skin smooth and healthy. And it also has an anti-inflammatory effect, which can help stimulate the skin's healing process, which I think is pretty cool. So I like to mix this in with my proteiny polypeptide or apply it underneath a moisturizer or underneath my facial oil, but I don't use it alone. I don't find that this is gonna be enough of a moisturizer for me to use on its own. So this is a great product if you need to kind of soup up your moisturizer, if you need a little bit extra, but I do like this product, but it has a very specific purpose for me. I usually use this in the winter or if my skin's feeling a little bit drier. Okay, here's another super popular product from Drunk Elephant. And I didn't really like this one at first. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. This is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. And this is supposed to refine and retexturize your skin. It is $90 for one ounce of product. I was about to read this first sentence and I have firsthand experienced this. So this is why I'm very, very particular about the AHA product that I exfoliate with and about any exfoliator, which we're gonna to touch on again in this video. I have less than a handful that I reach for for a reason, because if you have sensitive skin, you really don't wanna mess around with that. So the first sentence here is AHAs can be sensitizing if they're not formulated properly. They added soothing plant extracts and formulated TLC frame boost at the ideal pH level of 3.8, which they believe is the key to an effective formulation. TLC frame boost is an AHA BHA night serum that refines and resurfaces dull skin by gently lifting dead skin cells away by dissolving the glue that holds them to the surface to reveal a smoother and a more radiant complexion. It enhances the performance of other products by clearing the way for maximum absorption. It's formulated with a Dream Team AHA BHA blend of glycolic, lactic, tartaric, citric, and salicylic acids, and is blended with raspberry extract. It sinks in easily and delivers an effective level of chemical exfoliation without the harsh side effects of dryness and sensitization. Fine lines, wrinkles, discoloration, along with excess oiliness and the appearance of pores will appear dramatically diminished. Calming and soothing ingredients like horse chestnut, bear berry, and white tea improve the appearance of broken capillaries. Go from a drab complexion to an absolutely beautifully luminous one practically overnight. It does have a note here that you may experience some slight tingling, especially when you first start using it, and that it does dissipate as your skin becomes adjusted. I did experience that, and it made me a little nervous at first because I do have sensitive skin, and I was thinking, this is burning, this may be doing something bad to my skin, but it didn't at all. I find that to get so much in here, not just the glycolic, but all the other acids all into one that do so much good for the skin, this is so effective. It really does even out my skin tone and unclog my pores and just keep it smoother and healthier looking. I use this every other night. I alternate with a retinol and I feel like my skin just looks so much better since I started using it. There is also a note in here that this can work incredibly well as a spot treatment. I have not used it that way, but it works really well for me for my exfoliator, my acid that I use every other night. You can also mix this with the marula oil as well. I just, I love that you can mix their formulations, that they are so biocompatible like that. It just makes skincare so easy. The next product is the C Firma Day Serum. This is supposed to firm and brighten the skin. It is $80 for one ounce of product. Now here's something that I did not know about their particular vitamin C. Now somebody let me know in the comments below if other vitamin C's do this as well, but there's a special note here about this particular vitamin C. It has a reservoir effect, meaning it will stay active on the skin for up to 72 hours and cannot be washed or rubbed off. I think that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Does that mean that I can just use this 
every few days and I'll be fine. That's very interesting to me. So it says that C. firma has a pH level of 3.3. This is a super potent vitamin C day serum. It's packed with a potent antioxidant complex of L-exorbic acid, ferulic acid, and vitamin E, plus other supportive enzymes and antioxidants. It helps neutralize pollution, environmental stressors, and the damaging effect of free radicals while replenishing lipids and visibly reducing the appearance of dark spots and wrinkles. It's uniquely formulated with pumpkin ferment extract and pomegranate enzyme to enzymatically dissolve dead skin cells. That's something else I did not know. I thought this was just a regular vitamin C serum, but it actually helps the surface of your skin with these extracts. The sodium hyaluronate cross polymer penetrates the skin and provides intense hydration. And the result of using C Pharma Day Serum is a noticeably diminished appearance of photo damage replaced by incredible radiance and luminosity, firmer and brighter skin. In the morning, you apply to a clean, dry face, neck, chest, back pans, wherever you need it, and immediately follow it up with your moisturizer and then your SPF. It does say after the first use, you can store it in the refrigerator to help maintain its efficacy. And it is a little bit different from other vitamin Cs in that it can get kind of an amber color and it's not bad yet. I do wish that they would put an expiration date on the bottom of these because sometimes I'm not really sure how long I've had it. Maybe I should just start writing it on there. That would be the best thing probably. I do not believe all vitamin C serums are created equally. Actually, I know they're not because I've used quite a few and some of them will really aggravate my skin. This is one that my skin tolerates well. It absorbs it well. It wears well under my makeup, meaning it doesn't make me greasier or oilier throughout the day because some of them can enhance the shine and I don't like that. This is one that just, it's cosmetically elegant, but it does its job too. Having said that, I do have a couple of less expensive vitamin C serums that I use regularly and love and that aren't $80. So if you have a vitamin C serum that you use and you get all kinds of great benefits from and there's literally nothing that you don't like about it, unless you're just dying to try this one because you're curious, stick with one that works for you. This is an expensive vitamin C, but I do like it. And you'll notice a lot of vitamin C serums smell kind of like hot dogs. It's something with the ingredient on the inside. It's not something that's wrong with the vitamin C. The Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops are $36 for one ounce of product, and they are supposed to fortify and bronze your skin. This is a sheer bronzer that was formulated with skin health at the top of mind. I have said before in videos, I have never used another product like this. I don't think there's any kind of a dupe out there. If you know of one, leave it down in the comments for me. I'll check it out. This glow is supposed to flatter every complexion and it's an easy way to get a bronzy glow without the long-term consequences. This contains a chronopeptide that mimics the antioxidant benefits of vitamin D, omega rich virgin marula and black currant seed oils along with vitamin f which are fatty acids it immediately replenishes the delicate balance that supports a healthy barrier function of skin while the concentrated mix of protective antioxidants boosts the skin's defense against pollution and environmental stressors so you can add a drop or a half a drop or how much ever you want of debronzy into basically anything you own and you will get a nice bronzy natural color and it will enhance your glow. It is gorgeous. It doesn't affect the texture of those products or change the consistency or the appearance on the skin. It just gives you a glow. I have used it on its own. It says it's too concentrated to do so, but if you use a small enough amount, you can use it on its own. But I've mixed it with skincare. I've mixed it with my moisturizer, with my SPF. And this has actually been my summer savior because I have mixed it in with so many foundations that were my winter shade and have made them my summer shade. So if for $36, I have more than gotten my money's worth. I'm almost out and I'm restocking this product and I will use this as long as they make it. If you know of another product that gives a beautiful glow, doesn't change the texture of a product or the appearance of that product on your skin and adds all those skin benefits, 
please let me know in the comments below. We have moved on to cleansers. Okay, the first one we have here is the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. This is the one with the cute little scoop on the top here. This is melting and nourishing and is $34 for 3.88 ounces of product. This is a cleansing balm that melts all traces of dirt, makeup, and sunscreen from the skin. It's gentle enough to be used around the eye area. It quickly transforms from an oil to a milk upon contact with water and it effortlessly removes even water resistant formulations of makeup. It's formulated to soothe, cleanse, and moisturize without any irritants or sensitizers. You apply this to dry skin to remove the excess oil, dirt, and makeup and then you add the water to it and that's what activates it and kind of changes the texture and then you rinse it away and it does rinse away cleanly. I am very, very particular about my makeup removers, my balms, oils, whatever it is that I'm using to remove my makeup. And I've heard other people talk about how much they love this and how they think it's the best thing ever. I love the packaging and the scoop. I think that's great. I do not know how many products have come with scoops or applicators that I have lost almost immediately because they don't magnetize or stay onto their packaging the way this one does. I think it's really clever. It does work really well to remove every trace of makeup, even waterproof mascara, and it does rinse cleanly and make my skin feel soothed after. Even though I am going in with a regular cleanser after I remove my makeup, I still don't want my skin to feel stripped from what I removed my makeup with. So I like that part of it. However, I find that it takes me longer to rinse this off my skin than other balms and makeup removers that I use. So for that reason, I'm not totally in love with it. I think it's effective. I think it works well, but I do tend to reach for other balms and removers a little bit more than this one just because they rinse off quicker. And I just don't like spending any more time in the bathroom removing my makeup and getting ready for bed than I have to. And it's just that little thing that makes kind of a big difference for me. So this is not, you know, one of my number one favorite drunk elephant products but i could see why so many people do love it because of how well it does work the bestie number nine jelly cleanser is supposed to purify and dissolve it's 32 dollars for five ounces of product and it has an ideal non-stripping ph level of 5.5 this is an innovative jelly cleanser that removes all traces of makeup excess oil pollution and any other grime from the day with a unique blend of mild surfactants and makeup dissolving emollients this gentle formula rinses away without an ounce of residue leaving skin clean and soft it's non-irritating and appropriate for every skin type this is a nice basic gentle fragrance-free non-stripping cleanser i like that you get a decent amount of product in here for the price for drunk elephant price they could have charged more for this or given you less for the $32. So I do appreciate that. I do use some sort of waterproof mascara almost every single day. And I find this just does not effectively remove that waterproof mascara. So I will have to double cleanse if I use this, which is not a problem. I usually double cleanse, but I don't think that that claim that it does remove every trace of makeup really stands true for me with this product anyway. And I just think that for a basic gel cleanser, you can spend less money and still get a great cleanser. I don't think you necessarily need to spend $32 on a cleanser just to have a Drunk Elephant cleanser. I think there are other really great standout products from the line that the cleanser doesn't need to be where you spend your money unless you're just really, really wanting to try this cleanser. It is a good cleanser. It's just a little pricey for me for a gel cleanser. Drunk Elephant makes two bar cleansers that I had honestly kind of overlooked for a while and then I realized that they had a nice little travel set here and it's kind of nice to have a solid option when you're traveling if you're flying so I decided to try them out I don't know a couple months ago and I'm really glad that I did not only to review for you guys but I didn't understand why they had two bars so we're gonna talk about that today my little emblems are gone there was a cute little etching of an elephant on here but it's been worn off so this first one this white one is called the peaky bar it's supposed to clarify and balance the skin it's $28 for four ounces of product keep in mind this is the mini bar the regular size bar is big Bigger. This has an ideal pH level of 6.51, which ensures sufficient cleansing without drying or stripping the skin of its protective barrier. So for reference, on average, your normal bar of soap is going to have a pH level of 9 or greater, which is really bad for the skin. 
So them formulating this with a pH of 6.51 is going to be really, really nice and soothing for your skin. It's not gonna strip it or do anything to offset the balance of the skin. This is a gentle multitasking bar that cleanses, clarifies, tones, balances, and moisturizes, and leaves the skin perfectly balanced, soft, and supple. It rinses away pore clogging surface debris, impurities, and excess oil. It's infused with a blend of blueberry extract, marula oil, and honey. It tones and promotes moisture retention while improving the feel of elasticity and firmness. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the Juju bar, which is this one, and then I'm gonna talk about both of them when I'm done. So the Juju bar is supposed to cleanse and exfoliate the skin, and it is also $28 for four ounces of product. This has an ideal pH level of 6.34, which is a good thing. This is an ultra mild three in one bar that deeply cleanses and subtly exfoliates for a complexion that is soft and smooth. It's designed to effectively cleanse while gently removing dead skin cells from the surface of the skin. The unique formulation of thermal mud and bamboo powder creates a wonderful creamy lather that dissolves unwanted oil, rinsing away pore clogging surface debris and any impurities. It refines skin texture, brightens skin clarity, and over time helps minimize the look of pores. With both of these they tell you to massage the bars in your hands and then massage that lather over your skin with your hands you're not supposed to apply the bars directly to the skin with this juju bar it does say that you can exfoliate your lips with that lather to exfoliate the dead skin and then you can follow with their lip balm which we're going to talk about in a minute and it will really help plump and soften your lips so i kind of use these for travel i prefer a liquid soap for when i'm at home but when i travel i really like having that the option of having a bar and I actually do think it's kind of cool that they have two different ones because you might want one that kind of subtly exfoliates one time when you're on the road or whatever and you may not want just the regular bar but if I was gonna pick just one I would probably pick the Peaky Bar because that's just the more regular normal bar. I find them both very gentle. My skin handles them well. You almost can't even feel the exfoliation properties of this one, but yet I can tell when I finish using it that it has done something to my skin. It just makes it look a little bit brighter, a little more healthy. So I do like these. Would I use them every day at my sink? Probably not, but I do like having them in small size to travel with. And they have a couple of these small sets. I'll link for you guys the ones that they have. I'm not sure if they still have this one or not, but I do quite like it. Moving on to masks and treatments. The A. Passioni Retinol Cream is a relatively new entrant to the Drunk Elephant line. It's $74 for one ounce of product. This is Retinol Reimagined. This is a clean, cutting edge formula that combines one percent vegan retinol with nourishing superfood rich ingredients to dramatically diminish the appearance of fine lines, deep wrinkles, and sun damage, revealing a vibrant, younger looking complexion. Retinol and supportive peptides restore balance, resilience, and a brighter clarity to skin while helping even the skin tone and texture without the associated redness and irritation. Vitamin F with passion fruit, apricot, marula, and jojoba oils replenish the essential lipids of the skin and moisture, while antioxidant-packed kale, winter cherry, and xanthophils defend against environmental stressors. It's like a reboot for your skin back to its most healthy, youthful state. And just like all of their other formulations and products, a Passioni can be mixed with other products before applying, which means that you can completely adjust the amount and concentration that you're using so that you can ramp up the usage at your own pace. So a couple of mixtures that they actually suggest are mixing it with the C Firma for daytime because it makes the retinol work even better, followed by an SPF, of course, or you can use it at night and mix it with your framboose at night if you want to do that, or you can alternate the way I do and use a retinol on one night and your acid on the other night. But AHAs can clear the pores and clear the way for the retinol to get in the skin and really work its magic. You're just going to take a pea size amount of this product either morning or night and apply it to a dry face. You don't want to put it around the eye area. You can mix it with any cream or oil. They do say when you first start you may want to start applying it once or twice a week. That's exactly what I did until your skin gets used to it. And then you can increase the frequency to every other night until you are ramped up to where you want to be. I find that this retinol is stronger than the other over-the-counter retinol products that I have used in the past. I've really liked 
I did notice the difference in my skin. I'm continuing to notice the difference and I actually might ramp up my usage and start using it on my acid nights now that I have learned that that is something that I could do because my skin is tolerating it so well. If I do start to experience dryness, I'll back it back down. The only other retinol that I've really had this kind of result from that was over the counter was the Skin Medica one, which is more expensive than this one. So I really like it. I just feel like it's concentrated and formulated in such a way that it really will make a difference to your skin and it's not sensitizing if you ramp it up properly the way you should. The TLC Sukari Baby Facial is supposed to resurface and reveal. It is $80 for 1.69 fluid ounces. There are a lot of people that really love this product. This has an ideal pH level of 3.5 with a blend of acids that work together synergistically to ensure higher efficacy without redness and sensitization. That is very important to me because I have sensitive skin and I have rosacea. I was scared to death the first time I used this product. I was actually scared to ever use it for the first time. This is a pro quality AHA BHA facial that resurfaces the skin to reveal greater clarity, improve skin texture and tone and a more youthful radiance. It's got a 25% AHA, 2% BHA blend of glycolic, tartaric, lactic, citric and salicylic acids. It dramatically smooths texture while minimizing the look of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. It has all kinds of ingredients in here like matcha tea and milk thistle and other things that help soothe the skin as well. It delivers incredible brightening and enzymatic action, improves skin elastic feel, and reveals the look of a more even, radiant, baby soft complexion. So they say they created baby facial with all skin in mind because glycolic acids get a bad rap for being sensitizing, but they believe that it's the pH level and the accompanying ingredients fillers that can be the real problem. They suggest using this only once a week. You just apply a thin layer all over your skin and leave it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse thoroughly and pat dry. It's super easy to use and they also say to follow it immediately with the marula oil for the best results. I have topped it with the moisturizer and marula oil but you really only need to top it with the marula oil after. There's something about that combination that is so beautiful and every time I do it I wake up and my skin it really does feel as soft as a baby's it glows it just looks so beautiful and more even and it just it just feels good too so using a weekly treatment like this that's more of kind of like a mask treatment is a lot more potent and it's going to be a lot more powerful than the glycolic serum that you use every single day but the two work synergistically together so you don't have to stop using one to use another. Drunk Elephant has two sunscreens. I'm gonna talk about them both before I give you my thoughts. The Umbra Sheer Physical Defense and the Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. One is tinted, one is not, and they're both SPF 30 mineral sunscreens. I had the full size of this and then gave it to someone. So right now I have the size that came in, I think it was the Littles set or some other set. So the Umbra Sheer is to protect and preserve. It's $34 for three ounces of product. It's a sheer physical daily sunscreen that delivers powerful broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection and helps aid in the prevention of free radical and oxidative damage. And the Umbra Tent is going to be basically the same thing, but it is $36 for two ounces of product, if I'm seeing that right. If it's different, I'll let you know down below. And it just has a sheer tint to it so that you don't get that white cast that a lot of mineral sunscreens can give you. And both of them have all kinds of good ingredients with them, antioxidants to help protect, oils to help soothe and nourish, and they're gonna help deliver moisture to help minimize fine lines and do all the good things for the skin. It's very hard to formulate a mineral sunscreen so that it doesn't apply super white or it's just really hard to blend in. So I'll just say these are not my favorite sunscreens. I find them both a little bit, I don't wanna say greasy, but they make me shiny quickly during the day, more so than my regular favorite sunscreens, which are also mineral. I just find for my particular skin type, where I live, these are just not cutting it for my oily T-zone. I do think that unless you're super fair, you're gonna want the tinted version. This one, it was a little bit too white for me, but they both just give me too much of a glow during the day and I can 
feel them on my skin. So these are just not my favorites, although I know some people really like them. They're just not my personal favorites for sunscreens. Drunk Elephant makes two eye creams. The first is the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream, which is supposed to firm and brighten. It's $64 for 0.5 ounces of product. This is rich and restorative. It features a brightening combination of eight peptides, five forms of vitamin C and cucumber extract for firmer, stronger looking skin around the eye area. It has potent antioxidants, replenishing ceramides, plant oils, and soothing actives, all designed to refresh and restore a radiant appearance. You can use it in the morning, you can use it at night, and it's supposed to protect the eye area and nourish and hydrate. And I do find that it is hydrating and that it wears well under makeup and that it does kind of brighten my under eye area. I actually really quite like this eye cream. And I'm going to move on to the next eye cream and then we'll kind of talk about them both. This is the Sheba, I believe that's how you say that, Complex Eye Serum. It's supposed to smooth and hydrate. It is also $60 for 0.5 ounces. This is a satiny eye serum as opposed to an eye cream. This is supposed to tackle the major signs of aging, fine lines, wrinkles, and sun damage. The result is a rested, more youthful appearance. It's got black tea, ferment, and copper peptides that work together to support a smoother, younger appearance around the eyes, and it helps to slow down the signs of aging before they appear. It's got coenzyme Q10 to help prevent premature signs of aging from environmental aggressors, and it also helps fade age spots. When you think of serums, you typically think of kind of watery like textures. This is more of a creamy serum. It's very, very, very lightweight. I do not like this under makeup at all. I feel like it kind of balls up underneath my makeup and I've had to reapply my makeup sometimes when I've worn this because of it. I don't know what it is about this particular product that does that. It also doesn't feel as hydrating as C-Tango. It seems like because I'm into anti-aging and fighting the fine lines around my eyes, the eye cream that I would naturally go for would be the Sheba here, but this is not the one that I really like. I really like this one. This is my preferred one for sure. And this one, it just, I feel like if this one did all of these things too, this would be the perfect eye cream. So if I was gonna pick one, I would definitely pick the Sea Tango. I think it's a great eye cream. Drunk Elephant has a lip balm, and I am still not sure whether you say this lip balm or lippy balm. So I'm just gonna call this their lip balm. This is supposed to soothe and rescue your lips. It's $18 for 0.13 ounces. This is a moisturizing and volumizing lip balm that helps nourish super delicate lips for a noticeably plump, youthful looking pout. It has avocado, marula, and some other oils in it to deeply moisturize, replenish, and hydrate and soften delicate lips. It's enriched with a rare combination of peptides and sea fern algae. It helps to plump up the appearance of lips and deliver a better definition to the lip line. That's something I've not heard of before with a lip balm and I've used a lot of lip balms. It's got antioxidant rich green tea leaf and vitamin C and helps neutralize free radicals and environmental aggressors, which cause premature signs of aging around the lip area. When I first got this, I didn't think I was really gonna use it or like it that much. I kind of thought it would probably just be a regular lip balm, but I have used this so much. This is all I have left and I'm gonna get another one. I do find that it has helped enhance the appearance of that outer lip line. Before I was using this, I would talk on my channel about how I had this uneven lip line thing going on. I was always having to even it out with lip liners, and it didn't really dawn on me until I read this that I haven't been having to do that lately. So this is doing something really good for my lips. I love the way it feels. I never wake up with chapped lips, so, I really underestimated how much I was going to actually like this lip balm. Let me know your favorite Drunk Elephant product below, or if you haven't tried any Drunk Elephant products, if you plan on trying them either in a set or a single product, I would love to hear your comments down below. I hope you found this video helpful. It might be two hours long, but I really just wanted to give you my thorough review and thoughts and kind of just a comprehensive brand overview of all of their products as of this date because I have tried them all and I think overall as a brand, Drunk Elephant is a great brand. Do I think every single product is gonna work for everyone? No, not every product works for me, but I use the products that I use from them for a very good reason because they've actually given me 
results that I can see, that I can feel. So I hope you found all this information and my thoughts on each product helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.